Question 1. When merging onto a highway, you should A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. B. Slow down and wait for a gap in traffic. C. Stop and wait for a gap in traffic. Answer. A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. When merging onto a highway, you should speed up to match the flow of traffic and merge when it is safe to do so. Question 2. If two vehicles reach an uncontrolled intersection, no signs or signals, at the same time, who has the right of way? A. The vehicle on the left. B. The vehicle on the right. C. The vehicle that is moving faster. Answer. B. The vehicle on the right. At uncontrolled intersections, the vehicle to the right has the right of way. Question 3. When should you use your vehicle's headlights? A. Only in total darkness. B. When it's raining, foggy, or from 30 minutes after sunset to 30 minutes before sunrise. C. Only when there's oncoming traffic. Answer. B. When it's raining, foggy, or from 30 minutes after sunset to 30 minutes before sunrise, this increases visibility in low light conditions or challenging weather. Question 4. True or false? It's legal to pass another vehicle when you're in an intersection. Answer. False. It's dangerous and illegal to pass in an intersection. Question 5. Which of these is a common cause of rear-end collisions? A. Following too closely behind another vehicle. B. Driving too slowly. C. Keeping a safe following distance. Answer. A. Following too closely behind another vehicle. Tailgating reduces your reaction time and can lead to rear-end collisions. Question 6. A broken yellow line in the center of the road indicates. A. You can pass if it's safe. B. You cannot pass. C. It's a pedestrian crossing. Answer. A. You can pass if it's safe. Broken yellow lines mean passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. Question 7. If a school bus has its lights flashing and the stop arm extended, you must. A. Stop only if children are present. B. Pass cautiously on the left side. C. Stop regardless of the direction you're traveling. Answer. C. Stop regardless of the direction you're traveling. You must stop for school buses in this situation unless you're on a divided highway. Question 8. True or false? You may legally block an intersection when there's heavy traffic. Answer. False. It's illegal to block intersections. It can impede cross traffic and emergency vehicles. Question 9. If your vehicle starts to skid, you should. A. Turn your steering wheel in the direction you want the vehicle to go. B. Slam on the brakes. C. Turn your steering wheel opposite of the skid direction. Answer. A. Turn your steering wheel in the direction you want the vehicle to go. Steer in the direction you want to go and ease off the gas pedal. Question 10. A red traffic signal light means that you must. A. Slow down and prepare to stop. B. Stop at the stop line, or if there is no line, before entering the intersection. C. Yield to all traffic. Answer. B. Stop at the stop line, or if there is no line, before entering the intersection. A red light means you must come to a complete stop. Question 11. You should not start across an intersection if you know you will block the intersection when the light turns red. A. Unless you entered the intersection on a yellow light. B. Under any circumstances, even if the signal is green. C. Unless there's no visible cross traffic. Answer. B. Under any circumstances, even if the signal is green. Blocking intersections can cause traffic jams and accidents. Question 12. If a green arrow turns into a green light, you A. May still turn, but yield to oncoming traffic. B. Should stop and wait for the next green arrow. C. Must drive straight through the intersection. Answer. A. May still turn, but yield to oncoming traffic. The green light allows turns but requires yielding when necessary. Question 13. 
true or false. When a pedestrian is crossing a street guided by a dog or carrying a white cane, with or without a red tip, you must yield the right of way. Answer, true. California law requires drivers to yield to pedestrians who are blind. Question 14. What is the maximum speed limit on most California highways? A. 65 miles per hour. B. 75 miles per hour. C. 55 miles per hour. Answer. A. 65 miles per hour. The maximum speed limit on most California highways is 65 miles per hour, but it can be lower in certain areas or conditions. Question 15. If you approach a roundabout, always. A. Enter without yielding. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. C. Speed up to merge smoothly. Answer. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. Vehicles already in the circle have the right of way. Question 16. In California, you can legally make a right turn at a red light after. A. Yielding to all traffic. B. Coming to a complete stop and ensuring the way is clear of vehicles and pedestrians. C. Slowing down to a reasonable speed. Answer. B. Coming to a complete stop and ensuring the way is clear of vehicles and pedestrians. Always stop first and proceed when it's safe. Question 17. True or false. If you're involved in a collision, you should report it to the DMV within 10 days if anyone was injured, no matter how minor, or any vehicle had more than $1,000 in damage. Answer. True. Both conditions require a report to the DMV within 10 days. Question 18. When parking on a hill with the vehicle's nose pointing upward and a curb present, the front wheels should be A. Turned towards the road B. Turned away from the road C. Kept straight Answer A. Turned towards the road This way, if the vehicle rolls back, the curb will stop it. Question 19. A solid white line between lanes of traffic means A. You are allowed to make a U-turn B. You are in a carpool lane. C. You should stay in your lane. Answer. C. You should stay in your lane. A solid white line indicates lane changes are discouraged. Question 20. True or false. Children under the age of 8 or under 4 feet 9 inches tall must be properly secured in an approved child safety seat in the back seat. Answer. True. This rule ensures the child's safety while driving. Question 21. What does a flashing red traffic light mean? A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. The same as a stop sign, stop and then proceed when it's safe. C. The traffic light is broken. Answer. B. The same as a stop sign, stop and then proceed when it's safe. Always stop at a flashing red light. Question 22. When a pedestrian with a white cane or guide dog is crossing the street. A. Honk your horn to let them know you're there. B. Drive around them. C. Stop and give them the right of way. Answer. C. Stop and give them the right of way. These pedestrians are blind and they have the right of way at all times. Question 23. True or false. You must yield to other drivers at a yield sign only if others are present. Answer. True. The yield sign means slow down, prepare to stop, and yield the right of way if necessary. Question 24. When driving in fog, you should use A. High beams. B. Low beams. C. Parking lights only. Answer. B. Low beams. Low beams ensure visibility without reflecting light back into your eyes. Question 25. If you see a do not pass sign, it means A. You are allowed to pass other vehicles when safe. B. You are not allowed to pass until after the sign. C. You should only pass slow-moving vehicles. Answer. B. You are not allowed to pass until after the sign. Obey the sign for safety reasons. 
Question 26. You can identify a one-way street by A. Checking for signs at intersections B. Observing the direction of parked cars C. Both A and B Answer. C. Both A and B. Signs and parked cars orientation can indicate the direction of traffic. Question 27. True or false? Bicyclists have the same rights and responsibilities as drivers of motor vehicles. Answer. True. Bicyclists must follow the same rules as other vehicles on the road. Question 28. A no U-turn sign means. A. U-turns are allowed at any time. B. U-turns are only allowed during daylight hours. C. U-turns are not allowed. Answer. C. U-turns are not allowed. Obey the sign and avoid making a U-turn. Question 29. A center lane with solid and broken yellow lines that is used by vehicles making left turns in both directions is known as A. A shared use lane B. A two-way left turn lane C. A passing lane Answer. B. A two-way left turn lane Vehicles from both directions use this lane for left turns. Question 30. If you have a green light but traffic is blocking the intersection, you should A. Proceed into the intersection and wait for traffic to clear. B. Honk your horn and proceed. C. Stay out of the intersection until traffic clears. Answer. C. Stay out of the intersection until traffic clears. Avoid blocking intersections. Question 31. True or false? In California, it is legal to use a handheld cell phone while driving if you're over 18. Answer. False. Handheld cell phone use is illegal for all drivers regardless of age. Question 32. If a child is about to run into the street, you should. A. Honk your horn. B. Speed up and swerve around the child. C. Stop and yield the right of way. Answer. C. Stop and yield the right of way. Safety is paramount. Always yield to pedestrians. Question 33. At a light rail intersection, always. A. Look both ways before crossing. B. Stop only if you see a train approaching. C. Proceed quickly without stopping. Answer. A. Look both ways before crossing. Ensure safety by checking both directions. Question 34. The correct hand signal for indicating a right turn is A. Hand and arm extended upward. B. Hand and arm extended outward. C. Hand and arm extended downward. Answer. A. Hand and arm extended upward. Using hand signals can be vital when turn signals are not available or functioning. Question 35. When entering a freeway, you should A. Stop before merging with freeway traffic. B. Merge at a speed that matches the flow of traffic. C. Always use your emergency flashers. Answer. B. Merge at a speed that matches the flow of traffic. Match speeds for a safe and smooth entry. Question 36. If a vehicle is approaching with its high beams on, you should A. Flash your high beams quickly. B. Look to the right edge of the road. C. Turn off your lights to avoid glare. Answer. B. Look to the right edge of the road. This helps avoid being blinded by the other vehicle's headlights. Question 37. True or false? In California, you must always stop for a school bus with its red lights flashing, regardless of the direction you're traveling. Answer. False. You only need to stop if you're on the same side of the road or on a road without a raised divider or median. Question 38. If your vehicle begins to hydroplane, you should. A. Slam on the brakes. B. Gently ease off the gas pedal and steer in the direction you want to go. C. Accelerate to gain traction. Answer. B. Gently ease off the gas pedal and steer in the direction you want to go.
Avoid sudden actions that can cause loss of control. Question 39. What does a yellow diamond-shaped sign signify? A. The presence of a school nearby. B. A warning or caution. C. The speed limit. Answer. B. A warning or caution. Yellow diamond signs indicate potential hazards or changes in road conditions. Question 40. When a blind pedestrian is waiting at a crosswalk with a white cane or a guide dog, you should A. Drive around them B. Honk your horn C. Stop and allow them to cross Answer C. Stop and allow them to cross. They have the right of way, and it's essential to prioritize their safety. Question 41. True or false? In California, if you refuse a blood test when suspected of DUI, your driving privilege can be revoked. Answer. True. Refusing such tests can have serious repercussions, including the suspension of your license. Question 42. On a road with two lanes traveling in opposite directions, slow vehicles should drive. A. In the left lane. B. In the center of the lane. C as close to the right side of the road as possible. Answer. C. As close to the right side of the road as possible. This allows faster vehicles to pass safely. Question 43. When approaching a stationary emergency vehicle with its lights flashing, you should A. Accelerate past the vehicle. B. Change lanes if safe and possible, or slow down. C. Maintain your speed and lane. Answer. B. Change lanes if safe and possible, or slow down. It's the law to give emergency vehicles space and protect their personnel. Question 44. A flashing yellow traffic signal means. A. The traffic signal is broken. B. Yield to oncoming traffic before proceeding. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Always be alert to potential hazards. Question 45. True or false? A solid green arrow means you can turn in the direction of the arrow. Answer. True. A green arrow indicates a protected turn. Oncoming traffic should be stopped. Question 46. If you are involved in a minor collision and no one is injured, you should. A. Leave your vehicle in its current position. B. Move your vehicle out of the traffic lane, if possible. C. Wait for the police before moving anything. Answer. B. Move your vehicle out of the traffic lane, if possible. It helps prevent further accidents and keeps traffic flowing. Question 47. When parking next to a curb, you should park within blank inches of the curb. A. 18. B. 12. C. 6. Answer. A. 18 inches. This ensures that your vehicle doesn't obstruct traffic. Question 48. If you encounter an aggressive driver, you should. A. Challenge them by speeding up. B. Avoid eye contact and give them plenty of space. C. Follow them closely to report their behavior. Answer. B. Avoid eye contact and give them plenty of space. It's best to avoid escalating the situation. Question 49. The safest place for children 12 years old and under is A. The front seat with a seat belt. B. The back seat. C. In a child safety seat in the front. Answer. B. The back seat. It's the safest location, especially in the event of airbag deployment. Question 50. True or false, if you are 21 years of age or older, it is legal to consume alcohol and drive as long as your blood alcohol concentration, BAC, is below 0, 8%. Answer, true, but it's important to note that even with a BAC below 0, 8%, alcohol can impair driving ability and increase the risk of an accident. Question 51. How many alcoholic drinks does it take to affect your driving ability? A. 1 B. 3 C. 5 Answer. A. 
One, even one drink can impair your driving and increase the risk of an accident. Question 52, true or false? A broken yellow center line means that you can pass on the left if the road ahead is clear. Answer, true. A broken yellow center line indicates that passing is allowed if there's no oncoming traffic. Question 53, in a roundabout, you should A. Always stop before entering B. Yield to pedestrians and traffic already in the circle C. Try to enter beside large trucks Answer B. Yield to pedestrians and traffic already in the circle. It's crucial to give way to those already inside the roundabout. Question 54. Which of the following increases your chances of having an accident? A. Scanning the road ahead and behind. B. Continuously checking your rearview mirror. C. Being distracted by in-car entertainment. Answer. C. Being distracted by in-car entertainment. Distractions reduce your reaction time and awareness. Question 55. You are driving on a five-lane freeway in the lane closest to the center divider. To exit the freeway on the right, you should. A. Change lanes one at a time until you reach the proper exit lane. B. Stop before moving into the exit lane. C. Make the lane changes all at once. Answer. A. Change lanes one at a time until you reach the proper exit lane. Gradual lane changes are safer. Question 56. The maximum speed limit in a business or residential district in California, unless otherwise posted, is a. 25 miles per hour b. 35 miles per hour c. 45 miles per hour Answer. a. 25 miles per hour In most business or residential areas, the speed limit is 25 miles per hour unless signs indicate otherwise. Question 57. True or false? You must always stop for a school bus that is stopped with its red lights flashing, even if it's on the opposite side of a divided highway. Answer. False. You are not required to stop when you are traveling in the opposite direction on a divided highway. Question 58. When are you allowed to drive in a bicycle lane? A. When you want to overtake a car in front of you. B. The last 200 feet before making a right turn. C. Never. Answer. B. The last 200 feet before making a right turn. This allows for safer right turns without cutting off cyclists. Question 59. If there's a solid yellow line next to your lane. A. You can pass vehicles if the way is clear. B. You cannot pass vehicles. C. You can always pass vehicles. Answer. B. You cannot pass vehicles. Solid yellow lines indicate no passing zones. Question 60. A pedestrian crossing at a corner without traffic signal lights should be given. A. A warning to get out of the road. B. The right of way by the vehicle. C. A brake signal. Answer. B. The right of way by the vehicle. It's essential to ensure pedestrian safety. Question 61. If you approach an intersection with a steady yellow light, you should. A. Speed up to beat the red light. B. Stop unless it's unsafe to do so. C. Proceed with caution. Answer. B. Stop unless it's unsafe to do so. A steady yellow light means the signal is about to turn red. Question 62. True or false. Using a handheld cell phone while driving is permitted if you're reporting an emergency. Answer. True. California law allows using a handheld cell phone in a driving emergency. Question 63. A flashing red traffic light at an intersection means A. Stop and yield to all crossing traffic before proceeding. B. Proceed with caution. C. Speed up. Answer. A. Stop and yield to all crossing traffic before proceeding. It's treated similar to a stop sign. Question 64. When can you drive using only your parking lights? A. 30 minutes after sunset or 30 minutes before sunrise. B. On foggy days. C. 
under no circumstances? Answer. C. Under no circumstances. It's illegal to drive using only your parking lights. Question 65. A white painted curb signifies. A. No stopping, standing, or parking. B. Loading zone for passengers or mail. C. Loading zone for merchandise or freight. Answer. B. Loading zone for passengers or mail. You can stop only long enough to pick up or drop off passengers. Question 66. You may legally park your car. A. In a bicycle lane if there's no sign forbidding it. B. Across a sidewalk if you're not blocking it. C. In a crosshatched pattern space next to a disabled parking spot. Answer. A. In a bicycle lane if there's no sign forbidding it. However, it's generally best to avoid blocking bike lanes. Question 67. True or false? You can be fined for littering on roadways. Answer. True. Littering is not only harmful to the environment, but also illegal and can result in fines. Question 68. If you drive faster than other vehicles on a road with one lane in each direction and continually pass the other cars, you will. A. Get to your destination much faster and safer. B. Increase your chances of an accident. C. Help prevent traffic congestion. Answer. B. Increase your chances of an accident. Frequently passing other cars can be dangerous. Question 69. What's the best advice for drivers when heavy mist or fog occurs? A. Turn on your high beams. B. Try to drive alongside a car going in the same direction. C. Reduce speed. Answer. C. Reduce speed. Limited visibility makes it harder to see and react to potential dangers. Question 70. If your vehicle begins to hydroplane, you should. A. Apply the brakes quickly. B. Slow down gradually and don't apply the brakes. C. Turn the steering wheel in the opposite direction of the skid. Answer. B. Slow down gradually and don't apply the brakes. It helps to regain traction and control. Question 71. To avoid tailgating, one should follow the A. 5-second rule. B. 3-second rule. C. 10-second rule. Answer. B. 3-second rule. This provides a safe distance under most conditions. Question 72. When are roads most slippery? A. During a heavy downpour. B. The first rain after a dry spell. C. After it has been raining for a few hours. Answer. B. The first rain after a dry spell. Oils on the roadway make it especially slippery. Question 73. True or false? High beams are used in fog, snow, and heavy rain to improve visibility. Answer. False. In such conditions, high beams can reflect back and reduce visibility. Question 74. A broken yellow line beside a solid yellow line means A. Passing is allowed from the side of the broken line. B. Passing is forbidden on both sides. C. Passing is allowed on both sides. Answer. A. Passing is allowed from the side of the broken line. The vehicle next to the solid line should not overtake. Question 75. If you're involved in an accident and someone is injured, you should. A. Make sure they're okay and then leave. B. Immediately report the accident to the police. C. Move them out of the road. Answer. B. Immediately report the accident to the police. Do not move injured persons unless they are in immediate danger. Question 76. Children under the age of blank must be secured in a child passenger restraint system. A. 6. B. 8. C. 5. Answer. B. 8. California law requires children under 8 years old to be secured in an appropriate child passenger restraint system. Question 77. On a green arrow, you must A. Yield to any vehicle, bicycle, or pedestrian in the intersection. 
B. Go in the direction of the arrow if it's safe. C. Wait for the solid green signal before turning. Answer. B. Go in the direction of the arrow if it's safe. The green arrow indicates a protected turn. Question 78. It's illegal to park. A. Next to a red painted curb. B. More than 18 inches from the curb. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. Red curbs indicate no parking or stopping, and vehicles must be parked close to the curb. Question 79. A U-turn is not allowed. A. Across a double yellow line. B. In front of a fire station. C. On a one-way street. Answer. B. In front of fire station. California prohibits U-turns in front of fire stations. Question 80. True or false? In California, you can legally use a handheld wireless telephone while driving if you're over 18 years old. Answer. False. It's illegal for drivers to use a handheld wireless telephone while driving, regardless of age. Question 81. If you're being tailgated, you should. A. Speed up. B. Break quickly to warn the driver behind you. C. Move over or allow the driver to pass. Answer. C. Move over or allow the driver to pass. It's safer than engaging or challenging the tailgater. Question 82. The carpool lane, marked with a diamond symbol, is for A. Vehicles with two or more occupants. B. Electric or hybrid vehicles only. C. Any vehicle during non-rush hours. Answer. A. Vehicles with two or more occupants. The primary purpose of these lanes is to reduce traffic congestion. Question 83. When a school bus has stopped on a two-lane road and is displaying flashing red lights. A. Cars on both sides of the road must stop. B. Only cars behind the bus must stop. C. Cars in opposing lanes can proceed with caution. Answer. A. Cars on both sides of the road must stop. It's for the safety of the children boarding or leaving the bus. Question 84. In a roundabout, you should. A. Always stop before entering. B. Yield to pedestrians and bicyclists. C. Always signal when exiting. Answer. B. Yield to pedestrians and bicyclists. While it's also good practice to signal when exiting, the primary rule is yielding to those in the roundabout. Question 85. A no-stopping sign means that, unless directed to do so by a policeman, you may stop only. A. To avoid conflict with other traffic. B. To obey a traffic sign, signal, or officer. C. Both that and B. Answer. C. Both that and B. This means no stops are allowed except when necessary to obey traffic rules or to avoid conflicts. Question 86. If you approach a curve at the speed limit and feel your car starting to skid, you should. A. Brake hard. B. Steer in the direction of the skid. C. Accelerate. Answer. B. Steer in the direction of the skid. This helps regain control of the vehicle. Question 87. When two vehicles arrive at an intersection at the same time, who should yield the right of way? A. The vehicle on the left. B. The vehicle on the right. C. The vehicle that is traveling faster. Answer. A. The vehicle on the left. The left yields to right rule applies. Question 88. If you're involved in a hit and run accident, you should. A. Follow the fleeing vehicle. B. Report the accident to the police. C. Repair your vehicle immediately. Answer. B. Report the accident to the police. It's crucial for legal and safety reasons. Question 89. True or false. If your vehicle breaks down on the freeway, you should signal and exit the freeway where it is safe. Answer. True. If possible, exit the freeway to a safer location. Question 90. When you see livestock near the roadway, you should A. 
Honk your horn. B. Pass them quickly. C. Follow directions of the person in charge of the animals. Answer. C. Follow directions of the person in charge of the animals. They will guide you on how to proceed safely. Question 91. If you have a green light, but the intersection ahead is blocked, you should. A. Move into the intersection and wait. B. Honk your horn. C. Stay out of the intersection until it's clear. Answer. C. Stay out of the intersection until it's clear. It's crucial to avoid blocking intersections. Question 92. True or false? It is illegal to leave a child six years old or younger unattended in a vehicle. Answer. True. It's illegal to leave such young children unattended without the supervision of someone at least 12 years old. Question 93. When you park on a hill headed uphill and there's a curb, you should. A. Turn your wheels away from the curb. B. Turn your wheels towards the curb. C. Keep your wheels straight. Answer. A. Turn your wheels away from the curb. This way, if your car rolls, it'll roll into the curb. Question 94. If an emergency vehicle approaches while you're at an intersection, you should A. Continue through the intersection, then pull over B. Pull over in the intersection C. Clear the intersection before pulling over Answer. C. Clear the intersection before pulling over. It's crucial to provide clear paths for emergency vehicles. Question 95. Pedestrians crossing the street at a crosswalk. A. Always have the right of way. B. Only have the right of way when the crosswalk is marked. C. Must always yield to vehicles. Answer. A. Always have the right of way. It's the driver's responsibility to ensure pedestrian safety. Question 96. If five or more vehicles are following you on a narrow two-lane road, a. Move to the right side of your lane and drive slower. B. Continue at your current speed. C. Pull off the road at the nearest designated pullout or when safe and let them pass. Answer. C. Pull off the road at the nearest designated pullout or when safe and let them pass. This allows traffic to flow more smoothly and safely. Question 97. You see a sign with an image of a black T on a yellow background. This sign indicates A. There's a school nearby. B. The intersection ahead is a T intersection. C. You are approaching a roundabout. Answer. B. The intersection ahead is a T intersection. The sign warns of an approaching intersection in a T shape. Question 98. True or false? It's allowed to overtake and pass to the right of another vehicle on the freeway. Answer. True. You can overtake and pass to the right when the vehicle you're passing is making or about to make a left turn. This is often the case on multi-lane roads or freeways. Question 99. Motorists should yield the right of way to pedestrians. A. Only when a pedestrian is in a marked crosswalk. B. Only when a pedestrian uses a signal. C. Whether they're in a marked or unmarked crosswalk. Answer. C. Whether they're in a marked or unmarked crosswalk, pedestrians have the right of way in both situations for safety reasons. Question 100. When parking downhill on a road with a curb. A. Turn your front wheels towards the curb. B. Turn your front wheels away from the curb. C. Keep your wheels straight. Answer. A. Turn your front wheels towards the curb. This prevents the vehicle from rolling into traffic if it moves.